Nearly four years after the state signed a billion dollar deal to bring tech giant Foxconn to Mount Pleasant, that massive campus sits mostly empty. Things took a turn today, though, with the news that Foxconn has landed a deal to build electric cars. New at 10, Tom Durian shows us people in Racine County are hopeful but skeptical. If you haven't been by this area, you might be surprised by the Foxconn plant that's already here in Mount Pleasant. And while building cars was never in the original plan, that's just what could happen here. If you're a Star Wars fan, I call it the Death Star. From his driveway, Jim Mahoney looks at the Foxconn plant. He's the only homeowner who stuck around when the company built its mega factory in Mount Pleasant. And you can call him a bit skeptical of today's announcement. We've heard the song and dance before, so who knows, you know. Today, the technology company announced that it was partnering with electric car maker Fisker to jointly develop a new vehicle the second for Fisker and the first for Foxconn. In a statement, Foxconn said in part, our presence in Wisconsin has caught the attention of many businesses and investors who share our vision for a park that is sustainable for business and community growth. This will make our park, the region, and our state a new hub for next-gen technological product design and smart manufacturing. Neither company would confirm the vehicle will be built in Wisconsin, but the CEO of Fisker told the Wall Street Journal there's a very good chance initial production would be at Foxconn's Mount Pleasant facility and called it the obvious choice. In a statement, a Fisker spokesperson said in part, at this time, the manufacturing location has not been decided and is one of the areas we will be studying with our partners at Foxconn. Governor Tony Evers' office didn't respond to our request for a comment today, but told TMJ Force Charles Benson recently that the project needed to be what he called right-sized. Being as specific as we can as to what they're going to produce, as specific as they can about what type of people and the number of them. The village of Mount Pleasant and Racine County said today, we are pleased to see the exciting collaboration between Fisker and Foxconn to develop a breakthrough electric vehicle. While we look forward to hearing further details, we remain very encouraged by Foxconn's progress. While he welcomes the new jobs to the area, Jim takes a more measured approach. We went from making LCD screens that go on the side of your car to possibly TVs to cars. Yeah, it sounds like, to me, it just sounds like a big lie, you know, again, because uh, they promised they were going to do this and they didn't do that. Fisker tells me they'll have the project planning on this new vehicle with Foxconn done by the second quarter of 2021. That's when we'll know for sure if it will be built here in Mount Pleasant. Reporting in Racine County, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News. Let's go in depth and take a look at Foxconn's timeline in Wisconsin. Former President Trump announced Foxconn was coming July 26, 2017. The following June, Trump, former Congressman Paul Ryan and former Governor Scott Walker were among those who helped break ground on the plant in Mount Pleasant. Since then, roads have been widened, land flattened, homes demolished, and the plant hasn't built anything yet. Shooter, 